Warning. Censorship. Warning. So today we're starting off with uh, this uh, report that's just come out from the Johns Hopkins. Um, they've they've got a weekly newsletter that they put out, and in their latest issue, they've released this article um, quoting this lady, Genevieve Briand. All right, now, this lady's clearly just a fucking loser, okay? I've never even heard of this Johns Hopkins University. Is that even a real place? Who knows, all right? She's got some, you know, little bio here on this Johns Hopkins website. I'll read it out, but, you know, this lady's a nobody, okay? Nobody. No one's ever heard of her. She's a total fucking loser, all right? She's a uh, Genevieve Briand is an assistant director for MS in applied economics program. Okay, so already off to a bad start. Who even knows what that is? She has taught for the applied economics program since summer 2015. Okay, so no time at all, basically. And currently teaches microeconomic theory, statistics, and econometrics. Okay. Are those even real words? What does statistics even mean? Okay. She has many years of experience teaching numerous and varied economics and statistics courses. Again, sounds like a loser. Okay. These don't sound very fucking credible. Her fields of interest are microeconomics and econometrics. Previously, she was an instructor at the University of Idaho adjunct assistant professor of economics at Washington State University. Has anyone even heard of that one either? And a tenured associate professor at Eastern Washington University. Okay. I don't think any of these places are fucking real. Okay. Has anyone even heard of these places? I don't think so. She received her PhD, whatever that is, from Washington State University. Okay. Okay. So clearly we've got this loser here who's never done anything with her fucking life and she's got a bloody article out in this Johns Hopkins uh, newspaper. So we're going to have a, a little breakdown of uh, what she was talking about, what this nobody was talking about in this uh, newsletter. So this is a chart titled The U.S. Deaths Per Week and Causes from week ending the 11th of the 1st, 2014 to week ending the 26th of the 9th, 2020. Now, it's stupid fucking dumb American writing, but uh, we can work out that you're meant to have uh, the day, then the month, and the year, small, medium, large, as we've already established on this channel, uh, as the way it should fucking be. You don't go medium, small, large. That makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Anyway, that's besides the point. This chart here is showing deaths uh, from 2014 until now, essentially. So as you can see, we've got these spikes that go up and down. Now, from the lecture I was just watching that she gave, this these spikes coincide with the seasons. And you've got these seasonal uh, death rates. And they always spike at you know the beginning of the year, and then they kind of lower down a bit and spike back up. And as the seasons kick in, you can see that it coincides with death rates climbing or decreasing as it goes along. So this is obviously back in 2014 and it goes along. So you got a big, smart, big spike, small spike, small spike, big spike again, small spike, small spike, and then it'll go big again. So if we look here, what she's saying is that this chart here on the right, this is the very beginning of COVID. This is when it first started kicking in. So what she's done is compared it to the amount of deaths that have died from previous years, the amount of deaths from previous years. So she's got all this information from the CDC website, which anyone can go to and access all the information now. So what this is showing, I'll just skip forward to a, another graph that she's got indicates it a bit better. So here, you can see this is last year. So this is where the spike was last year. So it shoots up. So the green line here, I should explain, is the total amount of deaths uh, in for that week. Okay, so these are all weeks. 
Now down here is where you've got the breakdown of the individual uh, circumstances. So heart disease, uh, influenza, diabetes, Alzheimer's, etc. Now, as you can see, they spike at these points along the graph. And right here is where it was last year. So then we look at this year down here. Ignore the green because that's the total for the moment. But down here is the normal spike for the year. So as you can see, what she's pointing out is it begins its climb. This line here, this pink line, is the same over here. It's the same time of the year. And what it's showing is that it's about to shoot up. Or what she's saying is it's about to shoot up. Again, this is a nobody from Johns Hopkins. Okay? Now what she's claiming is that this point here is where it's about to shoot up. So heart disease is about to go through the roof. Diabetes, influenza, Alzheimer's, all of them. They're about to jump up. But instead what happens is they all drop down. All of them drop. Probably thinking, what the fuck has caused that? That doesn't make any fucking sense at all. So we can only conclude from these statistics backed by the CDC and some loser PhD lady from Johns Hopkins that humanity is now reaching a stage of evolution where we are now overcoming death from Alzheimer's, death from heart disease, death from influenza, <laughs> all of these deaths we are now overcoming mysteriously. Okay. There's one more graph I want to show you guys. Um, over here. So this is, uh, each column represents the next week, the following week, okay? So right here we've got heart diseases. Again, you can get all this information from the CDC. So the heart diseases, in this week here, the 11th of April, they climbed by about 824. So that's the normal rate that they were climbing at, okay? <laughs> Cancers went down by 52 than the previous week. Very interesting. Chronic respiratory, down 96. Can't even pronounce that word, so I'm not even gonna try. Alzheimer, increased by 86 deaths, okay? etc. I'm not gonna read them all out, but at the end of that, if you add them all up, we had a total decrease of 530 deaths for that week. Completely, according to this lady, out of the norm. This should not be happening. In fact, this has never happened in any of the fucking charts. Okay? Humanity just all of a sudden seems to be curing itself of all these fucking diseases, apparently. But at the same time, COVID's death rate increased by 486 deaths in that week. Pretty crazy. This second week here, all of the deaths from all of these diseases decreased by 2,540 deaths for that week. COVID mysteriously killed 2,561 people for that week. The third week, all of these diseases decreased again, 1,605 people died less than what should have been, than what the normal every other year, every other week is meant to be doing. COVID increases by 1,651 deaths. So what this loser professor who's got no quals whatsoever <laughs> is saying or suggesting is that somehow those other deaths were mysteriously and 
unknowingly being converted to COVID deaths. Now, this lady is clearly a nobody. She has no idea what she's talking about. And she doesn't even work for anywhere prestigious. And she's never done anything in her past either. So we definitely should not listen to this lady. She is clearly full of shit. All right. Hope you enjoyed this little episode. Hope you can uh, remember the most important rule. Read in between the lines. Most important part of reading is reading, reading between, between the, the lines. lines. And uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, share around, and we'll see you in the next episode.